Hello everyone, it's Alex Sigrist and welcome to Pongo Techno Valley Weekly News. Let's go ahead and see what's happened in the first week of August 2022. First up, OneWeb Hanwha Systems provides satellite communication service in South Korea. It has been confirmed that OneWeb and Hanwha Systems in the UK have started preparing related administrative procedures and infrastructure with the aim of launching services in South Korea in 2023. The two companies are preparing technical and administrative procedures for the launch of Korean services at the same time. Hanwha Systems, which owns a stake in OneWeb as a domestic corporation related to administrative procedures, is preparing to register with the Ministry of Science and ICT as a telecommunication company that owns line equipment for the wireless business for a certain term. OneWeb uses Ku bandwidth at 12 to 18 gigahertz and Ka bandwidth at 26.5 to 40 gigahertz as its satellite communications frequency bandwidth. For Korean services, it is necessary to check concerns over confusion and interference with other satellite broadcasting and communication services and obtain permission to use them. Hanwha Systems plans to register as a telecommunications business operator for a certain term by next year and run the service in South Korea. And for our second story, we made starts ESG management in earnest. Under the ESG committee, there are five working groups, environmental management, human rights compliance, social contribution, governance, and information protection. The working group is a consultative body of related departments by area. After working with the ESG team to establish specific plans for major issues, they are carrying out tasks accordingly. Responsible environmental management practice is adopted through efforts such as reducing greenhouse gas emissions, reducing waste, saving water resources, and efficient use of other resources. It also strives for inclusive growth for future generations. It supports the growth of members and implements a safe and desirable place to work. In order to maintain transparent governance, efforts to disclose reliable information, promote shareholder value, organize and operate efficient boards, and strengthen compliance systems will also be continued. Our next big story, Mopic, enters the German microscope markets. Mopic, a child care company nurtured by Gyeonggi-do Business and Science Accelerator, announced on the 3rd that it will provide key technologies to Germany's Selectrix. Mopic is a metaverse startup that has light field 3D display technology that allows users to see stereoscopic images without wearing VR, virtual reality devices, or 3D glasses. In addition to light field 3D technology, Mopic will provide a customized total solution optimized for customer needs by combining software algorithms that provide consistent three-dimensional effects at any location with optical technologies that show clear, high-resolution stereoscopic images without an afterimage. Our final big news of the week, Krafton, reveals the worldview of Generation Z influencer virtual human Anna. Anna is a positive energy evangelist who delivers positive influence to the world through music and entertainment. It is a Generation Z influencer who likes games, songs, dance, and fashion, and is interested in creating a sustainable society, such as protecting animals and the environment. Anna, who arrived in the real world to spread positive influence around the world, will grow into a virtual influencer representing Generation Z around the world with unique stories and worldviews, Krafton has said. Let's take a look at our quick news of the week. BioCenter at Gyeonggi-do Business and Science Accelerator identifies antiviral effects based on oriental medicine on grape stalks. Gyeonggi-do announced on the 3rd that researchers led by Choi Chun-hwan, a doctor at the Gyeonggi-do Business and Science Accelerator, and Choi Jang-gi, a doctor at the Korea Institute of Oriental Medicine Application Center, have confirmed the antiviral efficacy of vitamin B, an ingredient contained in vine stems. Using vitamin B, ingredients found in vine stems, the research team has found out the following results. Reduced mortality and weight loss due to viruses, reduced lung inflammation due to influenza viruses, 
antiviral efficacy against oseltamivir resistant influenza and reduced immune overreaction due to inflammation for the first time. For our second story, check your pregnancy test results using artificial intelligence. NHN Edu announces the launch of AI Pinkbot Pregnancy Test. AI Pinkbot Pregnancy Test is a service that deciphers a picture of a pregnancy test taken by a user based on deep learning technology for image data and reveals the result. It's expected to increase the accuracy of the test by analyzing the blurred result lines usually displayed in the pregnancy test machine. NHN Edu says, as the largest Femtech, or women's healthcare and medical technology, service platform in South Korea, it has developed AI Pinkbot pregnancy test functions based on its own technology. And finally, work out to earn coins? We made make strategic investments in M2E sneakers. Sneakers added the concept of land, L-A-N-D, combining reality maps with the existing M2E business model, which allows users to purchase sneaker NFTs and receive coin rewards when they work out. These coins can then be used to conduct NFT repair or to level up. It pursues a sustainable business model by generating profits through marketing strategies of companies. Sneakers has already secured 100,000 users and growing to become one of the largest NFT projects that started in South Korea. And that's it for your Pangyo Techno Valley Weekly News. My name is Alex Sikrist, and I will see you next week.